He's having tip. <laughs> okay. We need to have a slice of center. Oh wait, are we on center? Wait, look at that ball. Is that good enough? Okay. <laughs> oh wait this is a fun 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 show yes hey yeah and i'm gonna say my boom 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 ow ow I'll, ow ow all right <laughs> why might uh. as well right we know there's a pandemic out there but we're here anyway boom shakalaka anyway yes on a friday and uh it's great to be here um Welcome. Right. Welcome to Ms. Rocky and Chaviva Live. There is always something good happening on the North End and everywhere, everywhere else. else in the Cedar Valley. And you know this. And yes. we're here to tell you about it from a North End perspective. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we want to talk to you guys about what we got going on today. We got a great guest, Chaviva. Yes, we do. We have Kathy Keaton from uh, Splash of Color Breast Cancer Support Group. And uh, she's going to be talking to us about the group and she's also going to talk about an upcoming event right yes. upcoming like tomorrow yes <laughs> pretty upcoming yes yeah and we want to announce right at the top of the show so you have a chance to answer this question during the show mm -hmm. um it's a really interesting tidbit um of north end trivia that's right waterloo history um and so this is called our margo's waterloo proud history moment and every week we're going to ask a new question. And this week, the question is for you guys who are watching and want to win this wonderful coffee cup, which is made by Precious Mohammed, by the way. Um, yes, and Shaviva is the lovely model. And that's what you can <laughs> win with our logo on it. So answer this question. And if you don't do it during the show, you can do it later on in our comment section because we'll have it on on the wall. Yes. So what is the question, Shaviva? The question is, what native Waterlooan served in World War II as a fighter pilot with the Tuskegee Airmen, returned to Iowa after the war, attended University of Iowa, and then became a physician? Wow, that is some kind of guy. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. A it Tuskegee is. Airman right here in Waterloo, Iowa. That's awesome. Right. And yeah. of course, Margot is um, always up on that kind of thing. She's kind of like my big sister. Mm -hmm. um, and her family and my family came to Waterloo way back in the early 1900s. So um, thank you so much, Margot, for that contribution to our weekly show. Um, we're anxious to, for you to learn more about um, people right here in our hometown that have done remarkable things. Yeah. So. Answer that question. He was a Tuskegee Airman, World War II fighter pilot, and uh, he attended the University of Iowa and became a doctor. Mm -hmm. And then there's another hint, too. He also, after he did finish his residency, um, I'm not sure where Margo might chime in, but he ended up being a doctor in McGregor, Iowa, in an all-white community. Wow. So if you know the answer to that question, you can be the happy winner. All right, we're going to be talking about women's issues today, Shaviva, uh, breast cancer. Also, you know, we were at the House of Hope yesterday, and we just want to highlight that wonderful program, Shaviva. Right. It, there was a um, pasta for progress that was a fundraiser that was doing uh, lasagna lunches to benefit the House of Hope. And uh, some of the young ladies who have gone through the House of Hope um, program were there to share their stories and how um, being associated with House of Hope has helped them. So it was really pretty uplifting and just beautiful and lovely to get to talk to them. They're so, um, so motivated. Yes, yeah. they were. Um, they have a lot to be motivated about because what they do in these women's lives and what they have done, if you didn't see the video yesterday, go and check it out because some of these stories are so remarkable and they all... Uh, touch your heart when you think about how hard these women had to uh, work and overcome yes. so many obstacles. Um, and they, I was just looking at the brochure, I, at the Pillars program. See, these are things that people may not know. This, the young woman we talked to, she actually, and there's video from that yesterday. Yes. Um, she just 
uh, aged out of foster care because when you're 18 and you've been in foster care, right? You what do you do if you're not quite right. grown and that's and something you don't I'm have sure the tools? that most of us don't really think about, but there is a real need um, to be filled as far as young people who find themselves in that position. Right. right. So she had a wonderful t um, story. And then Boost is an eight-week career employment program. Um, Outreach is another program which provides women on the House of Hope wait list with case management services. So even while they're waiting, they're tending to these women. And then, of course, they have the Family Support and Wellness, and the Family Support and Wellness Program provides trauma-informed crisis intervention and programming skills and parent education. So, you know, these are helping these women get the tools they need to be effective and, you know, viable citizens and parents. Yep. So that is a, a great service to the community. Yes. And it was just a lot of fun highlighting that. Yes. It's it been is. a really busy week just in general. It has been. Mm. Why? What did we do? We did some Ooh, some a little bit of everything. Um Oh, I know you've been busy. You've yeah. been over the you've been did you finish your piano? Yes, I finally finished the piano at the uh, Waterloo Center for the Arts. So that's an exhibit that's probably going to be opening pretty soon. And then um, you have another exhibit at the Ragged Edge in Cedar Falls. Yes, there is a new um, place called the Ragged Edge Art Bar and Gallery at 504 Bluff Street in Cedar Falls. And so, yes, I do have um, an art exhibit there. Right, and um, also I know one other thing you're doing. You're helping to figure out about that Griffin, the police department. You're on that committee. The the Waterloo Police Rebranding Committee that um, was assigned to deal with that uh, Griffin emblem. Yes. So, yeah, they yes. met for the first time this week, and I'm on that committee, so. Right, and thank you, by the way, for for doing that because I did, I wouldn't want to be on that committee. Oh, Not that they asked me because oh. it's, I know, <laughs> but I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want the job or any of the commit council people's job. That's a tough one because I, nobody's going to be happy. Like a lot of things going on today, um, you know. It's well, that's just, the that's that's the story of compromise. So I guess we'll. We'll see what exactly. happens. Yeah. And you know that uh, the politics, we don't get into politics too often. But we were approached and we did want to talk to Tony Thompson, which we did last Friday for those of you who got to see that tape. Um, he wanted to kind of talk about um, how he misrepresented himself in a video that was going viral on YouTube. And yes. here's a little bit of our video uh, she showed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we did that. And then um, we were also thinking about talking to his opponent, Dan Trelka. But we decided well, a long time ago that we're not gonna get political because then we'd have to get, it's opening a can of worms basically. And that's not what our show is about. So for those of you who think we should be more political, we're not, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> But Dan Trelka is being interviewed by Nia Shindig. Now, yes. she's one of the young movers and shakers that you need to keep an eye on. She's already interviewed uh, Chief Fitzgerald. Yes. And also Tony Thompson about the video. Yes. And now she's going to be taking questions from the community for um, yes, Dan Trelka. Yes, upcoming uh, interview with Dan Trelka. So be sure to keep a watch on her page. Um, on Facebook to see when that event might be coming up. So I yes. expect it's going to be pretty soon. Oh, and it's going to be good. I can't wait to hear what the yes. community has to say yeah. and also his answers to those questions. Okay, and okay, you need to tell us about Ropes in the Kitchen and how it is available oh. like everywhere oh, right about now. Thank you. Thank you, Shaviva. Um, actually, you'll be able to win a copy of Ropes in the Kitchen here on the show. And for those of, that, of you that don't know, Ropes in the Kitchen is a book that I wrote, uh, co-authored with my dad. My heart is in there. It's kind of like an autobiography. So um, we'll be giving those away um, as gifts for our trivia question. And they'll also be in the Soul Book Nook soon, the new bookstore. Mm -hmm. There'll also be a Grout Museum, um, the Waterloo Center for the Arts and everywhere else, and the Christian bookstore, anywhere, yep. and Barnes and Noble, anywhere All you can find. All around this area, yes indeed. Good yes. reading material for autumn. So get mm -hmm. yourself a copy. Thank you, Shaviva. Want to remind everyone we're being safe. Yes, we are. Yes. 
just like you should be. Make sure you are masking up when you cannot social distance. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and if you want a boom shakalaka mask, somebody asked because we had them on yesterday. That's, that's right. Precious Mohammed is making those, and we'll have to stock up on those and actually sell them on our page with other merchandise. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. And you know, Rock, we started our Friday runway. Oh, yeah, Basically, we got to talk about that. Yeah, as a fun way to showcase those outfits that you didn't get a chance to wear. Right. <laughs> because everything's closed, right? Right, right. Um, yeah. And then and, India took off on a whole other direction, which we really like. Yes, we appreciate that. Yes, she invited local uh, designers to um, come and showcase their fashions. So if you are a local designer or a talented individual that does your own thing, you know, designing stuff, jewelry, whatever. Shoes. Shoes. Right, sweaters, maybe you knit. Mm -hmm. You got a hat or two to show off. Just let us know, yep. call our inbox, India. Yes. India Johnson. And last week we had Joyce Ann Wilders. Yes, we um, did. Stuff. She had a lot of beautiful outfits. So you can find our Friday Fry Runway. Just scroll our page and when you're bored, you'll and find lots of And this week stuff. our guest is Dante Watson. Tonight. And so, yes. Tonight at 6.30. Watch us because he's going to show off some of his uh, fashion skills. Yes. All right. And now... I think you've probably all been waiting to see Miss Kathy Keaton, and we're going to ask her to join us right now. And right you know, now. like we said, we're being um, safe and socially distant, and she's wearing her mask because in City Hall, you should all know that we do need to mask up. So, but while we're on set, we're safe distant, so you can feel free to take your mask off, young lady. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you're, you for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. And she's going to apply her little microphone. And we um always happy to see you, Kathy. Oh, it's always nice to be here with you, too. Yes. Thank yes. you. So we understand that you're kind of ready to get your jog on tomorrow. <laughs> you guys did that last year. It started at Sullivan, didn't you? Yes, we do it every year. All it's, right. It's, it's, our, um, it's our annual fundraising event. And some years, it's our only fundraising event. Um, so, yes, that's tomorrow. Our, yeah. It's our ninth annual um, walk run. However, this year, it's going to have to be virtual because of COVID. I know. Everything's changed. And we're going to talk to you a lot about that event Perfect. and more. But, you know, we have a segment that we call Give It Air. Okay. And these mm -hmm. days, with all the racial tensions and things that are going on, we always find it helpful, hopefully helpful. We've heard a lot of people saying we do a good job and thank you for those that say that um, but this today we're talking about um, the identity racial identity um, and you remember how black people's racial identity have has evolved mm -hmm. started out colored then Negro then then black, black then, then African-American African so we're going to just kind of roll around the reasons those changes were made. Um, what do you, do you have any idea you want to uh, talk about that a little bit or? Um, yes, there's, I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about that and I'll explain that in a little bit. I go by black American. Mm. Um, and I don't think it's, um, you know, a snub to my heritage and my ancestors or anything like that. But I'm listening. I'm listening to what other people are saying and why they believe um, we should be African Americans. Um, but as of today, right now, I go by black American. And you know, when you mm -hmm. say black Americans, that makes it worldwide because we're talking about all black people. Yes. So, and mm -hmm. you know, your identity is your identity. That's right. Hello. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And Shaviba, yeah. we talked about why um, the Europeans named uh, or called black people uh, colored. Yeah. That's uh, something. Go ahead. Sort of part of a, in my opinion anyway, and I think history probably bared out, sort of a, a hierarchy sort of thing where you're assigning assigning names to people and things and so just whatever colored mm -hmm, mm -hmm. negro that's not um identifiers that we gave to ourselves and i think that with when 
people began to identify themselves as black. Um, it was a it was a choice. It was a self determining sort of thing. You know? Right. Or African or African American. American. And I know for some people that's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. And for people who have um, uh, done any kind of higher education study, like you 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 say African American and you also identify white people as European American. American. That's a mouthful. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's a mouthful, right? Yeah, it is. So. But we also understand that there's no such place as Negrora, Negroria. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> right, or colored topia, uh, you know. So uh, I understand why African American would give a person a sense of identity uh, as far as your origin. So mm -hmm. we just kind of like to give that a little air today because there's a lot of people, somebody asked, when was it not okay to say colored? And you know, even still, if you're 95 you know years old, you can say colored to me. I'm okay with that. Even <laughs> back know? in the day when it was okay, supposedly, to use it, my aunt was always one of these firebrand sort of people. <laughs> she and she worked like in a, no, she worked in a <laughs> restaurant and a man came in and he wanted a, a shake. And he said, um, she asked what kind, he said, oh, give me a colored one. So she made him a pistachio shake, <laughs> which was green. green. <laughs> so, okay. you know. Oh, he and wanted she told chocolate? Him, you, didn't, you didn't say what color. Right. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Here's, yeah. There's all kinds of little anecdotes. Here's to you, Sugar Bear, wherever you may <laughs> oh, be. Oh, Sugar Bear. Bless her heart. I hear That's a lot nice. of stories about her. All right. Well, we had to give that air today, Shaviva. Mm-hmm. Because... Yes. Exposure, exposure is the best, the best disinfectant for All sure. Right. Newsflash birthday people, we're going to sing to you. And Kathy, she looks like a singer, Shaviva. <laughs> I bet mm -hmm. you can I really watch you sing. say that to everyone. I know, but no, really, I'm looking at you and I can tell you are, are you a I singer? am a congregational singer. Oh, only. that's all? That's but, it. Oh, girl, look like you can really we, get we, up to a microphone. You need us too. You okay. need us. That's yeah, right. Okay. Thank you. We'll that's do, right. I guess. Yes. Okay, and we wanted to talk about, did you watch our show last week with Billy Bailey at the Grout Museum? I watched some of that show. Did you see Shaviva with the snake? I think that's when I left. <laughs> when he went, he was sitting oh, on the couch. Oh, there's a picture. Shaviva yeah. I, oh, okay, a there's snake. me with the snake oh, around my arm. You don't see me holding it. <laughs> I, uh, I backed up. I said, okay, photo op, but I'll be back here. <laughs> Forget about Medusa, huh? Fun, fun time, yeah. And um, have you voted yet, Kathy? No, I have not. Okay, I'm me going either. to do that. I'm yeah. going to. We just want to remind well. folks that early voting has begun. It started October 6th. Mm -hmm. um, there are some si satellite locations in and around Waterloo and Cedar Falls. And if you want to find out exactly where they are, check with the um, county auditor's website and um, if you're going to, if you want to, if you feel better about del hand delivering your absentee ballot, you can take it to the county auditor's office and there's a drop box too, right outside the court, um, the courthouse. Mm -hmm. That's what I did earlier oh, this week. Oh, so many people. Yay. Yeah, so many yeah. people have been putting that comment. I did it today or I did it yesterday. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah. And Shaviva, do we have any comments? Shaviva is always ready with the comments. And what did you think about that vice pre presidential candidate uh, debate last night? Well, it, it was interesting. It was better than last week's. Oh, event, my word. So, for sure. So, um, I'm a Kamala Harris Biden fan, obviously. Well, not, not obviously, in that order. But, <laughs> no, not in, that order, not in that order. I wish, but right, not in that order. Right, but so, yeah. I, it, it was interesting. To say the yes, least. yes. Yep, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, uh, not only just according to things that, have, that we've read, um, just watching it, you look at the different tight ropes that this woman basically had to walk over the course of that uh, interview, I mean, you know, that, that debate, mm -hmm. because she was disturbed. She was cut into her time any number of times. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. in a rude way. And when she tried to redirect and say, hey, I'm the one speaking, then, of course, you have to worry about coming across as, oh, you're being, being too aggressive. assertive. Mm -hmm. Angry mm -hmm. or don't want to be too yeah. ladylike right. or can't show right. much anger. But you know what? The thing about it, neither one of them answered any questions, questions they were asked. I'm like, that wasn't no. even the question. Right. 
but they both did they did a great job and i'm not even going to mention the fly <laughs> okay <laughs> the notorious fly the notorious uh, fly comments shaviva yeah i uh, oh comments, i didn't know if you had basically over. um joyce joyce ann wilder oh hey joyce is saying hi to us um and she says she will talk to you later. Oh, okay, um, what'd you do? You done mess with Joyce. She wants her shirt. She oh, wants her shirt. She said something shirt. about a shirt. That's what she said to earlier. I want my shirt. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, but for the folks that are watching, thanks so much as usual. And we're just going to press on. Yes. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that they know how to watch us on YouTube. Go to North End Update on YouTube. Just type in North End Update. Hashtag yep. North End Update or Rockin' Shaviva. Yes. Yes. Also on Saturday mornings at 10 on Mediacom, channel 79.4. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we already know that you know the Soul Town is off the chain this month. So we're going to talk about the <laughs> Soul Town. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, what do you think about to, that? Yes, we love to talk about the Soul Town, and this month's edition is dedicated to Chad Bozeman, the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. um, a very, very prolific and talented actor. This young man um, got some classic movies under his belt, and when you think about oh. what was going on behind the scenes, where he, his diagnosis of cancer was something like six years ago so he did i don't know how many movies within that time and unless you were in his inner oh. circle you had no idea no idea, mm -hmm. no idea. and oh, he yeah. was going undergoing treatment and all of that yeah. and i love the dear abby uh dear gabby and the big q uh section this month it's always good and shaviva yeah. turn to the um our page because we in color this month are we <laughs> yeah wow. she put us See? in color usually we That's got a black awesome. and white picture in there i think it's on the second page I oh mean, Oh, I'm, I'm oh okay. You think it's on the second on. page. Okay. <laughs> I think we got moved up. Okay. But yeah, um, That's so cool. get your copy of The uh, Soul Town and press play, and you can watch Boom Shakalaka anytime. Yep. I'm not finding it, but I guess yes. at some point there it I'll is. Have it's to, in color. There Agnes we are. Hey. It. Oh, bless you. Yes, yeah, she got a color picture yep. of us. Just press play. That's so you right. get the, you get two great things in one. You get yes. all these wonderful um, articles and features and stuff in the Soul Town and you get to press play and there we are. There we are with <laughs> Kathy Keaton talking about the big run tomorrow. Yes. So get your copy at thesoultown.com today. Now Kathy, yes, tell us all about the big Virtual run. How are you going to run virtually? That's what I, I wanted to it. know. I yeah. feel like I'm doing it right now. Well, <laughs> we, we are not going to run virtually. Okay. Um, we, have, we put a charge out early September, and we asked everyone that our followers to um, walk anytime, anywhere, at your own pace between that September date until tomorrow. Ah. And, and re report back to us um, that you finished the 3K, which is only 1.86 miles. And we would love for you to share pictures so we can put it on our Facebook page and or testimonials, whatever you want to do and you want to share with the community. We would do that for you if you sent pictures or videos. Oh, so, okay. right. That's Great. awesome. In this age of COVID, we have had to come up with a lot, a lot of, of uh, creative ways of still doing the things that we want and need to do. So um, that that's awesome. But I, my mind was just clicking. How do you <laughs> run virtually? Right. You know, I'm going to run virtually. We are going to have a program, though. Okay. We're going to have a program, and it just... We just decided we're going to have it at Sullivan Park. Oh. So it's going to be myself along with Gloria Galloway. Oh, um, love Gloria. She is a, a board member of the Splash of Color, and oh. she helps every year. So her and I are going to be at Sullivan, and we are going to start at 10 a.m. Okay. And we will have, for our listening audience, we'll have a survivor story. Oh, nice. We're going to talk about um, how we got started, why we do what we do. Mm. And then we're going to have entertainment by the um, true talent 
Dance Troupe. Dance Troupe. Oh, yes. my goodness. Yes. Now, who are they? That's Is that the one Brooke and Juliet are involved in? True Town. Oh, they're the no. ones in the KBBG parade all the time. Yes. Right? Yes. Sure. Under the direction of uh, Tasha Williams. Yes. Oh, how yes. about that? Well, mm. good. That'll be nice. And that's tomorrow? That's at, tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. At Sullivan right. Park. And she, now they will be there. They will be on deck. And we will practice our social distancing, and uh, we'll have them live on FaceTime, and they're going to do a, a tribute to the survivors, mm. and uh, we're going to think about the ones that are gone on that have passed from breast cancer metastasis. Oh, yes, yes. and there's so many. Yes. Now, talk about um, self-exam, and we also want you to touch base on uh, men that have to uh, be self-aware as well with breast cancer, because it's not just for women. No, it's not just for women. Um, I put something on our Facebook page every month about your self-breast breast exams. Um, I think everyone should do it. It's not a cure for cancer. It's no. not a preventative measure, um, research says. But it's something that you should do. You and should I, know. Yeah, you well. should know because it makes you familiar with your breasts. Mm -hmm. And if there's something different, um, then you should probably make an appointment with your doctor. Not, not um, asking for any specific numbers or whatever, just sort of a ballpark figure, but how many instances of, that a woman actually or a person actually um, detects a lump or something because of self-examination as opposed to a mammogram. mammogram. Well, I, I can tell you from my family's background, um, my mom found her lump. Is that right? My daughters, Shay and Nisha, found their lump. And so... For us, I mean, it worked every time. Sure. But, however, it's it's not it's going to be different for different people, and so right. Um, and even you know, I have a son, Sean Quez, and he's a big guy. He's yeah. six four, six five. Right, I forgot mm -hmm. about Sean yes. Quez. Yes, such and a great so guy. we tell him, you know, you have to make sure that you sure. are checking. Yes, you are checking, and so and just because you have a family history doesn't mean that he'll get it. No, sure. you know, sure. so but he needs to be aware. But it's more likely and like every family has something is what I always say in That's my true. family we have colon cancer so I'm always telling my kids to get checked before the onset of when I, I had colon cancer when I was only 32 years old oh, okay. so you know every family has something and men need to be aware that breast cancer can affect you and your life just as much as it can a woman so it absolutely can women it's get start it somewhere one in eight mm -hmm. and then for men it's one and one out of a hundred okay so every sure. one out of a hundred so less likely but still there's that chance right so, exactly yeah. so examine yourself know yourself know yourself that's know your right. breasts and know your breasts <laughs> yes that's right well thank you Kathy and make sure you take lots of pictures and make sure you tag us Yes. So we can share the good news. And heck, what who know? I don't think I'll be up at 10 o'clock, though. I think I got grandchildren. <laughs> I'd like to come through, but we uh, can't promise. But just share some pictures. We'd love to pr help promote what you're doing. I will share pictures. And, and I want to say that the community can still support. Okay. We still have T-shirts for purchase. Oh, okay. Um, $20 for adults and $10 for youth. All right. And like I said, it's our only fundraiser, and uh, we need the help of the community. Of course. And not only that, I want to say um, everybody can help change um, breast cancer. Okay. If you have a voice, if you are an advocate, if you are a patient, if you're in research, Whatever you're in, all you have to do is use your voice to impact change. That's right. So. We love it. And thank you for using your voice for years now. How thank many you. years have you had Splash of Color? This is our 10th year. Wow. But it's our, it's our ninth walk. So, awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Right. Thank you for all you do, Kathy. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, ladies. Thank Any yes. comments? Because we were looking for that answer. Okay, I think people probably forgot about that. I mostly see where people are looking. Oh, they're not answering the question. Seriously, <laughs> you guys, you got to know who this Joyce wonderful man was. Joyce says she wants was. her bagel, too. 
Joyce, what about the answer to the question? <laughs> okay. We're supposed to be talking about the, the Tuskegee Airmen. Maybe we Seriously. need to throw the question out there one, one last more time. time. And then we're going to okay. sing happy birthday because we are um Yes, we are. We're running out. into that. That's right. Okay. Okay. But once again, the question is, what native Waterlooan served in World War II as a fighter pilot with the Tuskegee Airmen, returned to Iowa after the war, attended University of Iowa, and then later became a doctor. A doctor, y'all, right here in River City, <laughs> Waterloo. <laughs> so make sure you find out the answer to that question. We got Google, it's not hard. And mm -hmm. you get to be the winner of this beautiful cup. <laughs> <laughs> So we're waiting for your answer right now. Next week, we got a T-shirt to give away. Oh, cool. All right. So you birthday people, we know you've been waiting for a long time. Kathy says we say it to everybody. We say we don't. We know you can <laughs> sing. We know you can sing, so we want to hear you real loud and clear. I'll sing. Okay. You want to start right. that first row? All these people that are, yeah, you, sure. got, a, you got notes. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, Kathy Keaton is not on here, so what? let's start with her. Your birthday? You want to what? remember. You oh, had my party no. last year. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Shameful, shameful. I thought you had her husband when was on your, here. I do. I got Ronald down here. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I'll so. start. Mayor Kathy Copa. Keaton. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> David Marbitz, I believe. Yolanda wow. Williams. Okay. Blair Jones. Yay. Chanel Berry. Hey, Nelly. Dondi Hickey. Hey, baby. <laughs> that's my little brother. Ronald baby. Keaton. All right. That's your husband. That's my oh, husband. All right. all right. And Mickey Porter, Purvis Williams, the guy with all the action. He does everything. I know. <laughs> yes. Less wild. All right. On the wild side. Mm -hmm. Peggy Pasone and Latasha Frost Chiari. All right. And finally, we also have Steve Kerrigan. Happy birthday. Keith Bruton, my cousin. Hey, All hey, right. cuz, happy birthday. Barbia Williams. Yes, she a, a baby. baby yes. yes. And Henry Kennedy. Happy right. birthday, happy everyone. Birthday. Happy yes. birthday, all of you, and especially my cousin, Yeshi. Especially <laughs> my, my husband, Ronald. And especially, yes. and especially our guest. You. Yes. Hey. Kathy, thank, thank you. We didn't forget you, really. We just wanted you to say your own name because it okay. makes it more special. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right. And um, we're going to get to the point where we actually sing the verse and we found the words, and oh, we're going to yes. be sharing them with you another time but we're <laughs> we're gonna practice yes we right? gotta practice first because you know otherwise we're just gonna sing loud and and soldier on through it okay right yeah <laughs> and we like to sing the stevie wonder chorus there you not go. the verses okay. and it goes something like this happy birthday to ya happy birthday to ya Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Yay! All right. All right. All right. That's a birthday song for you. And we're going to get those verses down and make it even better next week. Mm -hmm. We're even going to have like a bouncy ball along the bottom of the screen. Right, Agnes? <laughs> With the words. When she's not <laughs> sneezing. I forgot to say bless you, Agnes, back there. But yeah, we're going to uh, be singing the verses and it's going to be so much fun. All right. I'll that. be watching. I know you will. <laughs> she, and you wore pink for us today. She wore a splash of color. Uh, yes, I and did. Beautiful. Yes. A splash of color. Beautiful. And the pink <laughs> shoes just coordinating. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Exactly. You're so welcome. And don't forget, tonight at 630, we're live with Dante Watson and his fashions. Yes. And until then... We want to encourage you. Yes, yes, to, to keep, keep doing what makes you awesome. Because what, Kathy? It makes us all look good. Yeah. Yes. It makes us all, makes look, us all look good. good. With Thank a question. You. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. See you next See time. See you next time. Thank you.